this video, I'm going to show you how to host N8N locally on your computer using Docker. Now, the reason you would want to do this is if you're using a large amount of operations or workflows. Um, so specifically for my business, I'm running a bunch of cold email systems for various clients. Um, and so if I'm using make.com, my operations are in the 200 to 400,000 operations per month range, which gets crazy expensive. And if I'm using any end because they run on a workflow rather than an operation basis, um, every time a webhook hits with a new email, it's basically charging me $50 for every thousand oper or thousand workflows. So this would basically be somewhere in the range of like a grand plus per month if I try to host it um, on their cloud server. And so that's why we're setting up this Docker container today so that we can run as many workflows as we want. Um, and keeping the cost low. So you're gonna go to docker.com to start um, and you're going to download the Docker desktop app. If you're on Mac and you don't know if you're using Intel or Silicon, you're gonna go to the Apple and click about this Mac and you'll figure it out. So I already have Docker on my computer, so I'm not going to download this again. But basically you will download this and it will ask you to uh, get started, to create an account, add your email in, um, the same thing that every software application asks you to do. And so once we're in Docker here, um, what we're going to do is, let me go here. Once we're in Docker here, we're going to see containers, images, volumes, build out, etc. cetera. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to search, go to images, search images to run. We're gonna type in um, N8N. This first one called N8NIO-N8N has 100 million runs. We're going to actually pull this. Um, so this is going to, there we go. It's gonna pull this into our um, Docker application. Um, and so you'll just let this load here and this is how we will initialize Docker on our. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to create a folder on our desktop and we're gonna call it um, n8n-data. Um, and now we're gonna go and actually run this instance. Before you actually run it, you're going to create a container name. You're gonna click the optional settings dropdown, go like n8n container, dash container. You want 5678 to be your port, which basically means that it's going to be local um, on your computer. You're going to set the path to that um, folder, um, which it looks like that was one of the previous instances. So let me actually just delete this folder here. Um, delete, move to trash, file, new folder, n8n-data, dash, um, okay, so now we're going to choose that, boom, the container path is going to be um, dash home, dash node, dash dot, n8n. Um, and then we're going to run this instance. As you can see here, it's going to like um, install all of this stuff and then we're going to be able to find this on our device. So if we go to localhost 5678, um, we'll be able to see the, um, see this. So let me uh, create a new arc tab. And over here, um, if we go, we go localhost, so all I did here was I copied this URL, localhost5678, added it into my computer. I'm gonna set up an account. Um, so then I'm gonna like just um, create a email. This is Protons, create an email Elias. Um, and then it's going to be, I'm gonna add in the password in here. Um, and then add, we're gonna click next. And then we're gonna fill this out, whatever this is for you. Um, we're gonna click get started. You're going to click get a free license key. Um, that's basically just going to ensure that you have access to all of the credentials. Um, I'm not actually going to pop this in here because you will be able to grab my access key, but all you need to know is you go to this usage and plan section you're going to enter activation key, whatever activation keys in your email, you're gonna set that up here. Um, and now you essentially have um, NAN running on your local host. 
And so if you're in um, ARC, you're going to see this like yellow uh, bubble around this. Basically means it's running on your local machine rather than on the internet. Um, and so basically what you need to know is if you you'll have this container that's running now, if you stop this, you're not going to be able to access any end on your device anymore. So like if I show you like this, stop the container. If I try to run it again, it will say site can't be reached. If I start the container again, it should load it up on the same port. And then if I refresh it, boom. And now um, because we didn't enter any authorization values while setting this up, basically anytime it's running, you won't need to sign in or anything. You'll just go straight here. Um, and you can run this as many times as you possibly want. Um, and so I hope this was valuable for you. Uh, any of the videos that I'm creating in the future, they're all going to be run locally. Um, and so this is just a solid infrastructure tip to make sure that you're not paying out the wazoo for um, workflows on any end. So I hope you found this valuable. I hope this supports the infrastructure of your AI business, your AI systems that you're building for your business. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching.